Watching. Trying to close the distance with a low kick. A right kick from Roja Huas. Huas is explaining something. Is he talking a little bit of trash? Talk to him already looks a little stunned from that jab. His eyes are a little glossy. It's a nice left jab by Huas. Huas, the he former heavyweight right, champion. Right Bak kick. Right kick from Huas. Takdorov looking to his corner for some instruction. Both fighters keeping their distance. Left jab missing. Immense concentration on these fighters. Takdorov with a strike, not connecting. Lost with a left jab. Who was staying a lot more in front of Taktorov than he did in his last fight. He's ready to punch it out. Both fighters keeping their distance so far in this world super fight. Oleg Taktorov showing some unusual boxing skills with Svoboda. Left jab with Huas. I would expect Dr. Rob to go to the shoot very soon. I can't tell if that is a cut that Huas has under his lip, but I think it is just blood from his opponent. Yeah, normally, Dr. Rob will just charge right in on anybody, not risking, not risking much at all because of their punching ability. Huas is one of the strongest fighters, if not the strongest fighters, in Valley Tudo competition. This is his art. Huas with the left jab. Distancing himself. Talk to Rob, little feints. The quick left jab. Little feints. Warding off Huas's attack. There's a right left from Huas landing on both, but only to the body. Huas definitely landing more punches and throwing more in this World Super Fight Championship. And for that, looks a little bit more tired than Taktorov. Taktorov very patient, not breathing heavily at all. Huas definitely the more aggressive of the fighters thus far, throwing lefts, rights, lefts and rights combinations. A left right, a left right again. Taktorov going, going, trying for the takedown. Taktorov going up against he doesn't the want to break. Oh, Huas with another left right to break him loose. See, when you have two. Another right kick from Huas. Taktorov's manager in the corner here yelling, stop the fight. There's another kick. The face of Taktorov full of blood. Taktorov wanting to know the time. Yeah, Taktorov wanting to find the time, how much he has time to survive in this match. Because so far, it has been all Marco Huas. It's kind of a gentleman's agreement here that the, the powerful leg kicks of Marco Huas can pretty much break down a tree. And he's been very gentleman-like not to punish the legs of left leg of Taktorov taking quite a punishment. And evidently his face is too. We got a cut on the top right of his eye, lower lip. Still the heart of the champion. He stands right there. This guy's not, guy's not about to submit. Taktorov down, down on the ground, ground, falling backwards. Huas going in for the kill. This is what Taktorov wants though. Oh, surprisingly, he gets back to his feet. Is there a possibility that he didn't want to go down in that fashion? He wanted to bring Huas down with him. Yeah, actually, that's one of his styles. He's not afraid. He likes to lie on his back and pull you down. Egg you on. Come on, get me on the ground. Because that's where he is the best. There's a right sweet kick. Takarov doing a good job of keeping his balance on those kicks. The Russian bear's face is real bloody at this point. But it doesn't even seem to affect Oleg. He's thinking a little bit more now. But he's still waiting for his opportunity, picking his shots, waiting for who else to make a mistake. That's his game plan. There will, they will not go to the cards. This is either a decision or no decision in this fight here today. It's, 
and they're going to call it to time. That fight ended anticlimactically in the fact that Taktarov brought Huas down. He found the weakness he was looking for, but just ran out of time. They had gentlemanly hug, professional sportsmanship. Truly two champions in the ring here today, two great fighters hugging, respecting each other like nothing I've ever seen before. These guys could beat anybody. That's why we put a 30 minute time limit on this one because we knew if these guys could go 30 minutes, which they did, these guys hated each other before this fight, wanted to prove something to the world. Who was proved it, talked to all proved it. They're both still champions. We still have the decision to go, although there will be no decision in this match.